All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we're going to be taking a look at another interesting mod, this time in the form of Deployable Airbags Plugin by forum user RoverDude, who is, of course, of uh, Umbra Space Industries fame, which has released some very, very interesting mods in the past, and working on some currently quite interesting ones. But today, of course, we are taking a look at his newest deployable airbags, and it's quite fun, but does require the World Cup mod dependency. Now, the World Cup mod was uh, an officially released mod by Squad not too long ago, and it added soccer balls, as well as a multitude of national flags to the game. And the interesting part for us is the soccer balls, because they allow these radial airbags to function, and these... Oh my, these airbags are just so much fun. They have a massive crash tolerance. Look at that, 1,000 meters per second. Uh, small mass of only 0 0.1, 0 0.1 drag, and a max temperature of 500 degrees. And of course, no fuel crossfeed. I don't know why you try to crossfeed through a airbag, but hey, who am I to say what you do in your spare time? But it comes in three varieties of medium small right here and large it did not go quite in order but it is in an odd order considering uh, it's in medium large than small here but yes if we just grab a random capsule and start chucking these on now they are in the structural tab which I find odd I would have thought they'd be in utility with things like landing gear and landing struts but no they are in structural I have a feeling it's due to the fact that the KSP soccer balls are in here but nonetheless, uh, just under structural, you will find the airbags. And uh, the small one is really rather quite small. I mean, compared to the size of that hatch, that is just tiny. The medium one is right there. And a little bit bigger than the size of that hatch on this capsule. And the large one is just ginormous. I, I have to admit... I, I have a hard time thinking of what kind of craft you would put this thing on. But uh, all three of the sizes have the same sort of uh, texturing to them and this uh, lovely little capsule here with the airbags deployed. And of course, danger, high pressure. I, I like the little detail there. And uh, when deployed, we can just inflate one right here in the VAB. Bam, there we go. We have a giant airbag. And they can, of course, be deflated afterwards, but these are the three sizes of airbags that you have available to you from this mod. And no matter which one it is, either the large or the small, they all have the same impact tolerance. So you could just cover your entire lander in small ones or use strategically placed large ones, I guess would be a good use for the these. And uh, if we load up some ships that I was playing around with earlier, I have made airbag tests for each of the sizes. So let's just grab the small one and uh, just popped it on <laughs> one of these stability enhancers and just five simple small airbags on this. And let's launch it. And from this height, these airbags should have absolutely no trouble whatsoever with the fall. I, I would not assume that there would be any issues, but uh, let's find out. We've got Jeb in the pilot seat, which is good, I guess. And uh, hopefully, hopefully my action groups were saved properly. So let's drop, hit one, we're inflated, and there, we, we stopped. Which is strange. When I tested this earlier, it bounced a little bit, which is odd that it just kind of stopped there. But as you can see, we landed quite safely from a height that otherwise would have completely obliterated our capsule. And of course, as I said earlier, you can inflate and deflate them. But when you deflate them, let's just do that. If I hit my one action group again, we cannot re-inflate the bags. If I try right-clicking on them, I cannot get any uh, context menu. Because these are one shot, one use, unless you go on EVA. Then you can have your Kerbal recharge the airbag. And if we just jump right back inside, we can reinflate that one again. And you'd have to reset all of them if you want to use all of them again. 
which for right now I think is a little bit strange considering they are airbags, but uh, in the future, one of the things that is a potential plan for this mod is to make these require mono propellant, which I think would be a really cool idea, because then it, it would kind of give you a reason to be able to reinflate them. But of course, if you are done with the airbags and don't intend on using them again, say your probe has landed and it's permanent there, you can actually detach them, which I've set to action group three, and if we just go boop, there we are. They all just lightly detach. They don't have a really any force to them whatsoever. And of course, that one, <laughs> that one stayed inflated. Now I am curious. Ah, obstructed the doorway. Hold on, let's move this baby around. There we are, that's not obstructed anymore. Can we? No, we cannot deflate this one ever again. It is permanently inflated. That is, <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's revert flight back to the VAB, and we'll grab the medium size airbag test next, which I also have coming from a large height, and this time it is the much larger Mark 1 or Mark 1-2 command pod with the medium airbags, and if we just launch that, our whole crew should be perfectly safe, though <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on this one. The only one of these I tested was the small one, so this could be interesting, and I've already found a problem. I should have tested this beforehand. When this bag inflates here, it's gonna run into this. Oh, oh my. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh God, sorry guys, this may be it for you, but let's drop, inflate. Oh, we did bounce. Not too bad. Though, hey, we did bounce a bit more, and you got to see how, uh, they do bounce and, in fact, then roll onto its side, which would normally be bad, but of course, we can deflate. And then, thanks to the power of SAS, we can uh, roll ourselves right back over and be good, and of course, knock them right off with no issues and roll away so that we never have to deal with them ever again. Though I'm now slightly stuck because of them, but, and that one is bouncing away. I'll be darned, look at that. <laughs> I guess the bouncy airbag nature of it still applies when it is just in its container. That, that is, that is amusing. I like that. All right, let's revert back again and grab the large airbag test, which this one, I didn't feel like dropping because I wanted to just sort of play around with the large one. So I just made a lander to sort of simulate what you might do with one of these large airbags. So this thing will, just inflate and then you'd land on the surface and if you tipped over you'd have the landing legs to tip you back over. So let's just load this one up. Now this is just my rough idea of what you'd use these large ones for, but I have to admit, these large airbags I just find so massive and wow, that, that was a fair amount of force, enough to knock our capsule off. <laughs> Okay, Jebediah has survived though. Perhaps add some structural support to uh, keep the <laughs> capsule hooked onto the habitat module. But uh, yeah, we can no longer deflate these. That uh, that capsule is stuck there forever. That is amusing. It, uh, this is one of the reasons I, I kind of find the large ones a bit strange. But hey, if you have something you think the large ones would be good for, go ahead. And it is also... One of the other potential future plans for this mods to have more sizes than just the current three. So we could end up seeing much smaller ones or who knows, even much larger ones though. Dear sweet Jebediah, why would you need ones larger than this? Granted, I have seen some large crafts on Reddit, but uh, let's revert flight to the vehicle assembly building and grab the last one that I want to test as I want to uh, check out how high we can drop one of these from. So I've just got a lander can here with an assortment of uh, just, you know, a few small airbags. I decided to go with the small thinking that should be enough considering they do all have the same impact tolerance as one another, all at the 1000 meters per second. So I have a feeling no matter what I do to this thing, it's going to survive, but let's let's check it out. Let's launch it. And I have HyperEdit installed at the moment. 
So we can set it to different altitudes. So if I just bring that up, best would be to use the ship lander set to current lat long. And let's start at uh, a conservative 250 feet or meters rather. Yes, we are in meters and we're currently stationary in the air. So we just got to hit drop again. There we go. And we are falling. Let's inflate the airbags. And we hit about 60 meters per second. And we are just fine, no issues. So let's, yeah, hmm, let's just double it to 500. Oh, not 5,000, 500 first. And drop again. I'm going to, oh, oh no, I don't wanna be typing in there. Let's uh, actually sort of move it about a little bit so it lands down on its, oh, oh, hello. 500 feet, interesting. Let's actually revert to launch. As for some reason, I find that strange that at 500 meters, rather, why do I keep saying feet? At 500 meters, that failed. Let's drop it again. It might have had something to do with the launching it a second time. Perhaps that glitched it out a bit. So let's, from the reload, do the 500 feet. And let's see what our top speed is. We're at... Oh my, oh my, that is interesting. So 78 meters per second seems to uh, kill it. <laughs> Let's refer to launch again. I'm intrigued to see at what altitude we would survive at sort of the edge. So let's drop it to 400. Drop and inflate the airbags. Well, let's see what we get here. Okay, I, oh, I, I missed what the maximum speed was, but at 400, let's uh, just drop it again, see if we, if it still survives, if it was some form of a glitch from the popping it back up into the air, and pay attention this time to the speed. About 72 meters per second. Interesting, interesting. I find that strange that at 500 we do die. I just want to try that again real quick. Humor me here for a moment. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems strange that with a thousand meter per second uh, tolerance that it would die like that. Let's see it survive that time. Huh. That is intriguing. Okay, let's... Interest. I find that strange. Maybe it landed. Uh, that is a potential issue. Maybe it landed slightly off kilter and all the weight hit on one of these in airbags. That is a possibility, though I want to kind of ramp it up now since we did just survive 500. Let's bump it up to 1,000 and have the SAS on so we should drop perfectly straight down. Because, yes, that uh, 500 one confused me with the impact tolerance that these have, and wow, look at Jebediah's face. He's kind of pleased. Yeah, see, that worked. Huh. Yeah, I have a feeling that's why it failed at the 500. It must have been slightly angled, and all the weight of the impact landed on just one of the airbags, which would make sense that it fails like that, but falling perfectly straight down on four of these airbags... We survived a drop from a thousand meters, which is not bad at all. You definitely wouldn't want to have that be your only thing saving you from uh, coming into atmosphere. You'd want at least some shoots to slow you down at first. Uh, but yeah, these are quite a cool system. I, I'm really enjoying having these things. And they're very, very well made. I love the inflation and deflation animation to them. And of course, the ability that we can detach them. My word, look at them bounce. <laughs> that, that amuses me greatly. I love that. I could just watch them bounce and be happy. Uh, but yes, it, once again, this is the Deployable Airbags by Rover Dude, and they're quite fun. Link will be in the description if you want to check this mod out for yourself. I'd definitely say give it a go. Uh, they really add a lot to the game, in my opinion, and you can use them to create your own Mars landers with, uh, you know, like we have in the real world and that we've made in the past using the airbags. You could make your own versions of that and try all sorts of weird things with it. I'd love to see what you guys make, but uh, yeah, please do give this a try. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. 
and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.